we get there, it's like a, it's like a warehouse. And we don't see too many cars. We don't see, it's, it's a little weird. So we're like, well, I guess the crowd is light tonight. They have a DJ playing. And we're still looking around, we're like, it's not a lot of people here. It's maybe 10, 15 people at the most. So, Big goes on. He's performing. All of a sudden, they start throwing coins at him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that about? We head out, get to the back. The limousine is there, but the driver's gone. All of a sudden, you start hearing the trunks of cars opening. You know, just, you just hear boom, 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 boom. Like, what the hell is that? And you just hear I turn around, I'm like, oh, shit. It's a gang of dudes with guns. Now, the limo door was open. So I was able to put Big in there. They come up and they just very irate. That was some bullshit your man said in the newspaper. He did the article about my man. We can right get him. I said, you know what? Get that man on the phone. I think that man and Big need to talk. If they wanted to go down after that, then so be it. But I think they need to have a conversation because they haven't had a conversation to this point. You never lose your street mentality if fools want to, you know what I'm saying, step on your soil. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if a fool come at you on tape or something, it depends on who it is. I'm going to come back on them. If they're a small fry, I ain't even trying to get at them. But if they got a name for themselves and they call themselves embarrassing me, I'm going to get back at them. They talk for maybe five minutes. He answered the phone back out. I was like, yeah, so what is it, man? He was like, you know what, you was right. Get a phone back to the little dude. I get a phone back. He was pissed. Man, but, nah, we got him right here. Oh, come on, man. Now they ain't going nowhere, we got him. So I guess your boy was just like, listen here, man, um, let him go and give, give old boy the phone back. So he gives me the phone, he said, listen, I'm gonna have two of my boys escort y'all back to the hotel. And they're gonna stay there until y'all catch the plane in the morning. Because I don't know what any other knuckleheads is gonna do to you. Trying to, you know, be on some dick riding shit or just, you know, just trying to get in good graces or whatever, but I'm gonna hold you down till you leave my city. And he did that. He made sure we got out of there safely. And for both reasons, for, for the way that he got us there, because he booked the show himself to make sure he knew where we were gonna be and everything. So for the way that he got us, I respect him. And for the way that he took care of us after we resolved the situation, I respect him even more. We not the Britney Spears types. We not the Justin Timberlakes. We will whoop your fucking ass. You got niggas that come fresh out of jail looking for record deals. These are sociopathic motherfuckers, man. They don't give a fuck about themselves, let alone you. And you got to look, nigga, niggas get shot over talking about another nigga mama disrespecting a nigga wife in the street, nigga. So imagine if you're gonna talk about this nigga and talk down about him like his shit ain't real. Nigga, he gonna see you. But he ain't gonna be the one to do it. It's gonna be one of them little niggas on the sideline feeling like they doing him a favor.